Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing with our marathon coverage of this newly released Claude 3.7 Sonnet model from Anthropic. We already have covered it from various angles and you can find a lot of videos about it which were published just today if you just go to my channel and search with Claude 3.7. We already have tested it thoroughly on Anthropic's own website. We have integrated it with continue vs code extension and we have integrated it with Klein and with also Adder and with Cursor. For the purpose of this video, I am going, going to show you how you can use it with AWS Batrock service which is a hosted API based managed service from AWS Cloud to access large language models locally. If you don't know what Amazon Batrock is, just go to my channel and search with bedrock course and you will see that i have done a complete course on amazon bedrock it is one year old but still very much valid so this will make you from hero um in no time if you just go through it under 20 minutes so i'm assuming that you already know uh, very basics about amazon bedrock and then you already have access to aws account if you haven't got an account just go to aws.com and then just sign up and you will get a lot of free credits if that is the first time you are doing it. And then once you have the credits and you are logged in, just go to Amazon Bedrock service. And then on the left hand side, scroll down, click on model access. Once you click on model access, you will be presented with this screen. Here you need to modify the model access by clicking on this orange button. And then you can scroll down here and you will see that lot of model providers providers are there. So I am going to select the Claude 3.7 Sonnet. I already have the access. So all you need to do is to select it and then you just scroll down and then you request the access here just clicking on the next tier. So I already have the access as you can see and it is immediate. You don't really have to wait for it. That is a good thing about it. And once you have the access, the last thing you need to do is to just go to uh, this under inference and assessment to cross region inference and just grab the inference uh, profile ID or ARN and you need to use it in the code. So there are two ways of using this new Claude Sonnet model 3.7 in Amazon Bedrock. Either you can use it in the playground, which you can access it from the left hand side here, chat or text, or you could access it through Boto3 API. So for instance, if you just simply click under playgrounds on chat and text, you will be presented with this screen where you can chat with your model um, in GUI and it is quite easy to use. So you've just asked it what is happiness and it is telling me all about the happiness. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how you can use it through API call, which is the real power of Amazon Bedrock. So I'm going to take you to my VS code where I will show you how you can use it in the code. And before I do that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. And this is a code which uh, I am using in Python by using Boto3 library or SDK from AWS. Boto3 is the software development kit or SDK to access AWS services through Python code. In order to get it installed, all you need to do is to run this command pip install boto3. If you already have it, just use it with the u. Make sure that you upgrade it with, by using dash capital U because this model and this API is only available in the latest version. And of course, before that, you would need to set your AWS profile. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, please check out my channel and that bedrock course. I have explained it in very, very simple words. Now, before I run the code, let me explain what is happening. So first up, we are importing that Boto3 and JSON. Then we are calling this um, Boto Bedrock runtime by instantiating that Boto3 client with that service. And the region, because my region was US East 1. 
and this model is not available in every region so make sure that you only select the region where it is available now after that uh, make sure that you put your uh, prompt like this and this took me a lot of time to figure out because there is no documentation available so if your prompt and your uh, whole template is not in this format this is not going to work so this should be the anthropic version this should be the max token you can of course reduce the size of it and the more the token the more pricey it will be and you can check the pricing on aws calculator which is a free tool which you can access from there the prompt should be in this format where i'm asking it what is happiness you can of course change it as per your use case and this is what i was talking about that in the bedrock gui from on the left hand side in under the inference from cross region inference grab this endpoint or arn and then replace it with uh, you know whatever model id you are using so i'm just saving it in this variable make sure that you replace your account number with here uh, and then just keep all of these as is because we are just passing the chase on one and then we are invoking the model with the body with the model and other parameters we are getting the response back and then we are printing the response so let me run it so i'm just going to run it in this bash shell in my vs code and there you go so it is just checking um, my previous prompt so i haven't saved this hello what is happiness so let me quickly save it so i have saved it i'm just going to run it again let's wait for it to come back and there you go it has done it so happiness is a positive emotional state and all that stuff and language is really of very good quality by this new model from anthropic and we have uh, very uh, rigorously tested it in our previous videos so if you're interested in testing out the language the coding and the reasoning and all that stuff please check out my other videos where i have shown you how the hybrid reasoning is working in this uh, really good model by anthropic i believe this is one of the best models they have released so far and contrary to the common um, norm i was not really impressed by their previous models but i think this is where anthropic has really lifted their game anyway now you know how you can use this model in your code i will put this code in my github so that you can also access it i hope that this was useful and as i said if you're interested you can check out the other cloud 3.7 videos so already i've done five videos on it uh, six videos i guess so there is another in pipeline so it's a um, marathon coverage and we are trying to cover it from every angle because the model looks really good if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching